everybody, Aaron here, and today we are going to talk about the William Optics 71 GT Apochromatic Refractor. This is a triplet aerospace refractor with one element of FPL 53 O'Hara glass, which is the ED extra low dispersion glass element that helps give it that nice clean image with tight stars with no false color that you see in lower end refractors. Let's take a closer look. So this was my second telescope and I acquired this one fairly recently. I did get this one new um, from William Optics. It comes with an inspection checklist and on it they go over the objective lens, the tube assembly inside and out, the smoothness of the dew shield, the focuser, and it comes with a warranty and it is signed by the inspector. So you can see there's a lot of thorough quality control here with, with William Optics in this system. So that's pretty awesome. Taking a closer look inside, the setup I purchased came with these really nice tube rings. And what I love about this is it has a handle built into the top but it also has a bracket shoe right here, which actually the way I have my guide scope mounted on a adapter piece, it slides perfectly into that guide shoe. So it was, I mean, a perfect fit for me. And here it is. This is the 71 GT Gran Turismo Aprochromatic Refractor. It's got a retractable lens shade, which extends out fully right there and it has a built-in Batonov mask which I just love that is so super convenient to have that built into this and it just you unscrew the lens cap here and there it is your Batonov mask for focusing very very nice and let's get that back on there slide that back down and let me just say the fit and finish of these telescopes are second to none. I mean, I, I've seen these online and you know, they look great and everything, but until you actually hold one and, and uh, see it firsthand, it's, it's really, it does, the pictures do not do them justice. They are a, a work of art. These scopes are absolutely gorgeous and uh, perform extremely well. So on the back here, you can see you've got a built-in finder shoe bracket for your range finder, range scope. This is a knob cover for your 10 to 1 rack and pinion focuser. Uh, this is the micro focus knob right here and this is the primary focus. And on the other side, which I thought was another cool piece of engineering on this thing, very well thought out, is there is a thermometer built into the side here and so that gives you in your ambient temperature outside uh, which is a really nice added feature now the scope itself has a native focal length of 420 millimeter and it comes in at around f 5.9 on the focal ratio um, this is a, a really great range it, it gives you so many wide field options but what i like about this even more is with the built-in reducer which I have right here. Put this down. I'll show you this reducer. This came with it and this focal reducer, which is adjustable, is a 0.8 times focal reducer and it brings the focal length down to about, I believe it's 336 millimeter focal length at an F ratio of down to 4.7, which is fairly fast. So you're getting a nice, even wider field of view and uh, at a faster exposure time too. So awesome, awesome little extra piece there. And um, it kind of targets you can shoot for at that focal length, you know, things like the Andromeda Galaxy, wide field nebulas like the North American Nebula, California Nebula, and um, Soul Nebula, you name it, there's, there's a whole, there's a plethora of, of targets out there that would fit beautifully at that focal length range. 
The scope also came with these sliding base rings for a guide scope, which I have not used personally because this right here just, just does the job so beautifully. Um, there's just no reason for me to go to that other system, but it's nice to have. And at the end here, I'll show you some images of what this scope is capable of. Images of the Heart Nebula, the North American Nebula, and California Nebula uh, fit just beautifully in this scope and just scratch the surface on what this scope is capable of doing. And I thought it was nice, it comes with this really nifty case. It is soft padded and has cushion fittings like this here on the inside, which keep it well protected. And um, there's some desiccant tablets in here as well to help keep the moisture out. This scope will serve me well, I know for years to come. Uh, I plan on actually using it as a guide scope on that Richie Cratian, that TPORC I did a review on earlier. It's gonna be kind of an experimental thing as most Imagers would recommend using an off-axis guider at that focal length. Um, I still think based on the image scale, pixel scale that I'll be imaging at with the reducer, I can get away with using this as a guide scope as well. So that's just something else to consider when it comes to the versatility of this telescope and what it can do. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and learned a little something about this telescope here. If you uh, like what you saw, Please hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. And until next time, clear skies.